And a good midday on this Friday. This weather video driven by 802cars.com. They represent 802 Toyota, Twin City Subaru, 802 Honda, all located off of Exit 7 on Interstate 89. Been seeing some thunderstorm activity across the northern tier areas, mostly the northern portion of the Champlain Valley. This is also in conjunction with a strong gradient channeling wind moving uh, through the central and northern portions of the uh, Champlain Valley. So far, uh, looking at wind gusts, in the last uh, six hours or so, we got uh, 54 miles an hour at uh, on Lake Champlain, and that's where the strongest winds are going to be located. And uh, not too far away, from, really, from the lake shore, uh, I think that's where the strongest wind gusts will be. Uh, even Mount Mansfield, only at uh, 40, 41 miles an hour. In terms of rainfall, we're seeing the uh, shower and thunderstorm activity. The back edge here begin to move on out. Probably some intervals of sunshine will develop, and probably the stronger winds will begin to kick in. The worst appears to be between roughly about uh, 1 o'clock and about maybe 8 o'clock this evening. And then we have a cold front that will then move on through, and that cold frontal passage will also have some localized gusty winds. However, the channeling wind situation, of course, across the central and northern portion of the Champlain Valley is uh, going to be the peak gust, and we might see gusts as high as 55, 60 miles an hour. So you look into the uh, European model here, and this is uh, the uh, channeling winds you can see right there. And this is about uh, 2 o'clock in the morning. The uh, winds begin to depart from the Champlain Valley, open up along the ridge lines and some of the higher terrain, and some localized strong gusts. But uh, down on valley floors, winds do not appear to be uh, too much higher than just barely above thresholds. So this is looking at the uh, HRRR model. We can see uh, noontime uh, winds. We're looking at max wind gusts here, and you note the uh, Champlain Valley, and very localized to Lake Champlain. Incidentally, National Weather Service has issued a uh, high wind warning localized to that smaller area with a wind advisory surrounding it for the uh, central and northern portion of the Champlain Valley, and about Chittenden County north. And uh, you can see here, this is valid about 8 o'clock this evening. The uh, cold front is approaching. The winds begin to fall off across the Champlain Valley. But the winds uh, associated with the cold front will also max up uh, a little bit and flare up. But you see these winds are generally not as strong, and most of them under, say, uh, 45 to 50 miles an hour. Taking a look at precipitation, we can see that uh, most of the showers and thunderstorm activity of this morning is long gone. This is uh, by uh, the early to uh, mid-afternoon. We see the approaching line. This is a, a definite concern as uh, we have uh, instability that will have developed in parts of New York. And this could be problematic, but it does weaken as it, it gets into Vermont. You can see it falls off at least the higher DBZs and reds. This is where thunderstorms will be. This is just heavier rain showers, maybe a couple sparse lightning strikes. This is about 10 o'clock in the uh, evening tonight. And you can see that narrow band then moves on through. And it's a thing of the past, certainly by 2 o'clock in the morning. Roger Hill, Weathering Heights. Thanks for watching.